This is the largest increase in testosterone that we've seen in the literature. Nothing comes close. So that you can stop wasting your money on these stupid supplements that most of the time don't even do anything which was the biggest increase in free testosterone ever keep in mind this one here is free testosterone which is just what actually counts all right so let me show you guys exactly what happened in this study all right so here's the study here they looked at a group of six players to be precise six chess players for those of you who are not familiar with testosterone testosterone goes up drastically during competition in fact competition is the single factor that increases testosterone more than anything else it increases more than lifting, more than sex, more than any supplement you could take. Obviously not more than TRT, but you know, that's obviously not natural. Competition in humans and in non-human primates has consistently been the biggest testosterone booster. A lot of people think that you actually have to fight, right? Do physical competition. <laughs> <laughs> competition to increase testosterone. No, testosterone goes up in response to any challenge to your status to push you to defend your status or in some cases to push you to increase your status but they looked at six very high level chess players and again the goal of the study was to see for each player the average increase was about 150 percent i did all the math um but there's one guy in particular which is player two he's a freaking legend his testosterone levels went up by almost 600 percent so anyway as you can see here his free testosterone level started around the 90 range and that went up as much as almost 600%. After a competition, testosterone levels go up even higher, right? So during the competition, if you're a winner, on average, your T levels go up even higher. If you lost the competition, in some studies, the, the testosterone levels go down. But in some other studies, the testosterone levels stay the same or go up, again, even higher, right? So, so it's not conclusive. But one thing that the research agrees on is that during a competition, most people's testosterone levels go up, right? So this would have went up even 20 to 30% higher, minimum, sometimes 50%, right? And then some of the other guys also got big testosterone increases. Player six, <laughs> he barely got anything, but the other guys, you know, also have de had decent increases in free testosterone from sitting down and playing chess, right? And as you can see, the tougher the opponent, the tougher the challenge, meaning the bigger the threat to the player's reputation, on average, testosterone levels tended to rise, right? So player four, geez, I mean, guys, look at his starting free testosterone levels. They were through the roof. To put it in perspective, the average person is down here in terms of free testosterone, right? The average person has free testosterone levels of about um, usually around 100 to 150 picogram per milliliter. Uh, but now because testosterone levels have been declining, most people are usually around 80, 90 picogram per milliliter. Um, people that have high status tend to have significantly higher free testosterone, so around 200 or more. In fact, there's another study, if you guys want, I could also cover, that showed that elite soccer players have higher testosterone levels than amateur soccer players. We see the exact same phenomenon in animals, right? We see it in gorillas, we see it in birds, we see it in, in fish. Whenever they're competing for status, whenever they're competing for mates, the T levels go through the roof, and then the T levels go back down when they're not competing. Right, because the body doesn't want to waste resources and keep increasing your testosterone levels, which is very, very costly to do, by the way. The biggest testosterone booster is competition. That is your purpose as a male. That's what you evolved to do. Compete, compete, compete. Find a niche and dominate it. Find something you're good at and always compete at it. Compete to be better. Compete to make the world a better place. Compete to add value to the world. And that is the best way to channel your primal instincts into value. The way you guys are walking around with low T all the time is because you're not in competitive environments. Everyone is comfortable. Everyone just wakes up, does the bare minimum just to get by, plays video games all day, jacks off all day, does the basic nine to five, comes back home, watches TV, and again, you wonder why your free testosterone levels are not constantly elevated, right? You're never defending your status. You're never defending your throne. So your brain is thinking, why the hell would I give this guy excess testosterone levels? It's have a clean diet, exercise, be sexually active, sleep, get sunlight, and most importantly, compete, right? Skip the pro-hormone part, by the way. None of you guys should be messing around with that stuff. But yeah, eat healthy, sleep, train, but most importantly, compete. All right, guys, that's it. See you guys in the Discord. See you guys in the Reddit. Post all your questions there. Stay tuned for the next video. Good luck. Team Duty Alpha, Dominus Discipline Direction. <laughs>